We want to solve this rational equation. To do that, I'm going to first multiply by the common denominator. To see the common denominator, I'll factor this difference of squares so I can see the two factors. So that means I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by x plus 4 times x minus 4 over 1. On the left, the x plus 4 cancels, leaving x minus 4 times the x. On the right, in the first term, the x plus 4 and x minus 4 cancel, leaving 11. But then I have 2 times the x plus 4 times x minus 4. So on the left, I have x squared minus 4x. And on the right, I have 11 plus, well, this is x squared minus 16 if I multiply it back out again. So multiplying by 2, I get 2x squared minus 32. Subtracting an x squared from both sides, I get negative 4x equals I'll see 11 minus 32 is negative 21, and subtracting the x squared, I have plus x squared. And if I bring the 4x over, I have 0 equals x squared plus 4x minus 21. If I factor this, I have x plus 7 times x minus 3. Setting each of these equal to 0, if x plus 7 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0, then x equals negative 7 and x equals 3. Checking each of these in the denominators, I need to be sure that the denominators won't be 0, because these could be undefined points. But negative 7 or, ne or positive 3 plus 4, neither gives you 0. And same thing here, neither will make the denominator 0. That means both negative 7 and 3 are solutions to this rational equation.